Author and entrepreneur, her book, Two Good Rounds, celebrates the golf lifestyle and the art of connecting to one another, both on and off the green. We welcome Alyssa Gaudet to Virginia this morning. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. This is really, really neat. Great advice that everyone can benefit from, connecting with folks. How did, how did you connect with golf as, as your career and, and writing about this? It's, uh, it's very serendipitous. It wasn't something that was necessarily planned, but I got into the golf industry about 13 years ago. I worked for a Latin golf tour, and then I worked for the PGA tour. Um, I ran the World Cup in 2002, myself and another guy. I was in Mexico for uh, 18 months to do that. And then I started a company because I realized that uh, corporations needed assistance in the golf industry. It's a little different than other sports like the NBA or the NFL. And all along I've always noticed that, um, I mean a lot of people have this idea that it's very old folks and it's, it is male dominated still to this day, but there's so much enjoyment that you can get from golf that I don't think that people realize, especially women. Um, it's an incredible way to connect with people. It's one of the last frontiers where you can, you know, they don't really use your cell phones, you're out on the golf course, you really do connect with, uh, with the, the people that you're playing with. And that's why people have always said it's very good for business. And one of the hidden things was you don't really see the personalities of these pro golfers. And that's what the book originally intended to do. You open the curtain a little bit. It's interesting you say, you know, you connect with other folks and you connect uh, out on the course, but you really have a big chance to connect with yourself, don't you? Absolutely. Because it's a game you can play forever and it's um, always going to be challenging, no matter what your age, unless you're extremely physically, you know, disabled, but you can play it throughout your life and it's constantly challenging you to um, to be better and to to, to achieve a higher um, status and, and to you know just perform on a higher level yeah. and I think that that's why you see so many famous athletes enjoy this because when their career whether it's NFL, NBA, MLB ends this is still a way for them to keep the competitive juices going and also to challenge themselves because you can't just turn that off yeah. Uh, you also could go to the same course day after day after day and probably never get the same conditions twice. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. So first book has come out. This is Two Good Rounds. And you, as we said, you're lifting that curtain. Mm -hmm. What is it that's so, so exciting to share about uh, what, what we don't see? Okay. Well, I always joke. I say we can, we can, all, have a, um, we can all have a beer like Bubba, Bubba Watson but we all can't play like Bubba. So what I did is I interviewed you know, 36 of the top golfers in the world and I asked them all the same questions. What's your favorite 19th hole, the place they like to hang out, your favorite drink, it didn't have to be alcohol, but you know, just to kind of get their personalities to come out a little in fun, feel good, respectful way of looking at golf and also having the average, whether it's the average golfer or the average person who not, doesn't necessarily know much about golf, understand their personalities and why this is a fun thing to do. Yeah, and also a universal. Pretty much everybody goes to relax at the 19th hole. Exactly, and that's the part where we all can't hit the ball like Bubba, but we can have a beer like Bubba. That's right. So Two Good Rounds is already out. You've got another book that's coming out in November. Tell us about that. Well, it's Two Good Rounds Superstars, and on that same theme, what I realized was that there's all these incredible athletes that we all know, even if you're not a golfer, that love golf, whether it's um, Michael Strahan, Michael Phelps, Tony Romo, Andy Roddick, Brandon Chastain, and I really went out and tried to find as many different sports as well because we're saying world's greatest. So um, soccer players, Formula One, NASCAR, horse jockeys, Kelly Slater, surfer, Bode Miller, someone's got to connect with one of these people and say like, oh my gosh, I didn't know Scott Hamilton, yeah. a lot of Olympians, Michael Ruzioni, and they all have share a common interest in golf and like really have it touched with them and, and made it like a passion of theirs now. And it really makes it very relatable for everyone because even if you are Kelly Slater, a superstar out on the uh, out on the waves, you still you'd love to enjoy a round of golf. Exactly. Yeah. And, I, and I think that connectivity is going to help the average golfer, the average person to say, wow, okay, I get, I know that same feeling. I can emulate with that. Yeah. And golf has largely been uh, an industry and a sport that was built on exclusivity. And we're moving to a world of inclusivity with social media and everything else. And I thought this was a way to hopefully add some of that 
inclusiveness. Yeah. Thanks for spending time with us, Alyssa. We Thank appreciate you. it. It was fun. Everybody love being in Virginia. Everybody, well, we uh, love having you. Everybody can be like Bubba now. Yes. Appreciate <laughs> it. Two Good Rounds is now available in bookstores, so make sure to pick up your copy today and look for Two Good Rounds Superstars coming up in November. And right now we're going to send it right over to you.